Hey guys, welcome back to Easy Keys Piano Tutorial. Today we're going to be continuing the second part of the previous Rehome Breakdown video, What a Friend We Have in Jesus in the Key of E. And well, before we get into that video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I drop the tutorials. And please, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. I'll be glad to put you through. In the meantime, let's jump into the tutorial. Alright, in the first tutorial, I'll just do a brief run of what we did so far. So I did I did the little grace note here. I've taught this before. Okay, so did this okay now this chord is simple simply this I'm sure you hear this chord a lot you know okay but I'll just try to break it down real quick so I don't waste too much time on it so when you get to this point the F sharp point rather this point right here now all I'm doing is I'm doing it's like a seven three six or a two five one movement okay but it's like doing a seven three six on the key of B Seven, three, six. Okay, that's what it is like. But I'm doing this, this, and this. You see? So for my seven, I'm doing the F sharp if I was playing the key of B. But I'm not playing on the key of B. So on the key of E, our key of context, it's going to be this right here, which is a flat five. Then I go to my seven and then my three. Jesus. So my left hand I have E flat dominant seven pretty much. And on my right hand I have G, B, and C sharp. You can add this if you want, but then from here I move to an altered chord. In my previous tutorial, I did teach about the altar chord. It's like playing the dominant 7 on one hand, and then playing, counting a tritone. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, that's 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And playing the dominant 7 of this chord right here, which is going to be A dominant 7. So it's this dominant 7 over this dominant 7, pretty much. Okay? So... Now, it looks complicated, but it's not really complicated, okay? So, there's one voicing I need to generate, okay? And that voicing is this. When we get here... Now, what I did here is I played a simple E, E major chord, right? Then on my left hand, I have C sharp and A. You see? So here I have C sharp, A, B, E, and E flat. Okay, you can see from the A major as A major 9. You can see from the E perspective as the E6. Okay, so, but this is what I have. So, you know I teach a lot of chromatics. So I moved in half steps, in half steps whenever I generate a chord like this. I can do this. I can do this, I can do this, you see, that's how I learn my chords, I'm moving chromatics. Got here, now here I have A, F, G, 
C E. It's the same voicing as this. Remember, I did a chromatic movement. If you do that movement, you get you here. <laughs> and this is a very, very nice, you know, voicing you can use, you know, to play whatever you want. You could do uh, twinkle. <laughs> as long as you can generate that voicing, you can move around with it, okay? However you like it. So when I did the... Same voicing. Okay? That and this is the F sharp. I did this. Which is just grace note. And I did this. Now all I'm doing is buying time because after the sins and grief to bear here, there's a lot of time before going to. So I'm trying to make up for all that space and wait time, okay? That's pretty much it. No, so what did I do here? So from here, after the A sharp chord I did, pretty much B major. But I did this. Back to the F sharp major. Then the B dominant 7. So my goal is to do this. B major chord, F sharp major chord, and back to B major dominant seven. So it's pretty much a, okay? But this is, the, these are a lot of notes. I just break it down to, but instead of hitting the B major directly, I just did a little trick there. I just did the, C minor before going down to it. It's like moving. No big deal. I'm just doing around the fence movement. Around the fence. I can do this. It's my call, right? But I, I chose to do this. So. Chord two. Okay, so all I did here was F sharp I'll break the second part of, the, of, the, of this um, song in another video so that way you don't have too much on your table at one time. But the major thing you should pick from this video is whenever you have a, a, a lot of time, you know, to, to stay on one chord, you can move around chromatically, okay? That's how my brain works. You know, when I hit this, this is the E chord, and I'm going to A chord. basic movement so and this is the beauty of gospel playing okay it's it's like art it's like water it's very flexible you can move around easily and also move here and I'm here Remember this voicing Okay. I had uh, one of my viewers ask me to do a hymn, and that's why I chose this hymn. So score this for now. Don't rush it. Take your time. It's in a different key. It's in the key of E major. And let me see how it, let me know how it goes. If you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section, and I'll be glad to put you through. Thanks for watching, and see you in the second part of this same tutorial. Peace out.